Hi, this is Instructional Development at UCSB. In this video, we're going to show you five ways to structure collaborative Google documents for students to use in your class. Let's get started. Number one, create a Google Doc worksheet template. Here's an example of a Google Doc template that guides students through a sample question. The idea here is that students can copy this template to their own Google Drive and use it for individual studying or group work. To share any Google Doc with students, click Share and add students manually, or change the setting to UCSB so that students are viewers. Then add the URL to Gouchospace so students can find it easily. You can also customize documents for each group when you want them to explore different questions or content. Number two. Use Google Sheets with tabs for group work. Here's an example of a Google Sheet where students can write down their ideas based on questions you provide to them. This helps students concentrate on the task and important points of the lesson. In this example, each group of students have their own spreadsheet to work on. To do this, you create a template on one tab, duplicate it, and rename it so that you have tabs for different groups. You can do a similar thing with Google Slides, but instead of creating a new tab, you create a slide for each group to complete. That way, you and your students can watch what each group is doing without opening many different documents. Number three, self-graded quizzes using Google Forms. Self-graded quizzes in Google Forms are a great way to let students gauge your learning without you becoming overwhelmed by grading the quizzes yourself. You can see the quiz results for each student when you require students to access their quiz with their UCSB ID. You can also use Google Forms to survey your students or have them contribute data to a class Google Sheet. Number four, create a class Google Drive. If you are going to use Google Apps often for class, we suggest creating a shared drive with all of your class members added to it. You can organize the drive by week or by date and put all of the class Google documents there. Add the Google Drive's URL in a logical place on Gouchospace so students can easily access it. Number five, feedback and questions. A great way to give feedback to students and allow them to ask questions is by using Google's Streamline Comment feature. Simply highlight what you like to comment on and hit the comment button to leave your feedback. Tagging a student's email using at will let you notify students to your comments or assign them to an area. This is also a great way for students to ask questions on upcoming assignments or leave you a note about their work. Students can tag your email, leave questions on specific parts of a rubric or worksheet template, and see answers to questions that other students asked about it. We hope these different tips will spark some ideas for working with your students on Google Drive. Thanks for watching.